This video is sponsored by Cadeco.com. Hey, what's up everybody? Vegetarian Zombie here with another episode about learning C Sharp by way of the Unity Editor. We are diving into switch statements, but before I go any further, please take a moment to like and subscribe and all that other YouTube jazz. You know the drill, it really helps my channel grow so I can keep on producing this type of content. Also, if you like written articles, I am slowly transcribing these videos into tutorial format that you can find over at learncreateplay.games. So check it out. Okay, we are diving into switch statements. Switch statements are pretty much the cousin of if statements. Essentially, you take a value or expression and you switch control flow based on that expression, much like a train can switch on the tracks. Again, think of it just as a different kind of if statement. Here's how to construct them. Switch statements start with the switch keyword followed by a parentheses. An expression goes within the parentheses, which is evaluated at runtime. For instance, you can pass in a single variable or an entire expression. The switch takes braces that form the body of the statement. When you have an opening brace, you should always include a closing brace. At this point, you provide what are known as cases. You do this by writing the case keyword followed by the value you are testing against. Afterwards, you place a colon after that value. Next, you place your statements underneath it. This means if the points multiplied by the multiplier equal 100, the total score is increased by 100. Now, once you finish the code in this case, you must break out of it using the break keyword. If you don't add the break keyword, you'll get an error. This is a good thing. Typically in other languages, you would fall through to the next case, which is a constant source of bugs. Speaking of other cases, you add them much like the first. Finally, you can add a default case as well using the default keyword. You can think of the default case as the else clause in an if else statement. Now the default case adds 50 points to the total score. Notice there is a break statement at the end of the default statement. Even though it's the last line, it's still required. Let's play around with some switch statements in Unity. But before we do that, here's a message from my sponsor, Kadeco.com. Kadeco is a website that aims to teach coding by actually coding. From videos, articles, and even live boot camps, Kadeco will jumpstart your development career. Throughout the years, a lot of you have reached out to me about my teaching style. I try to be open and accessible to all skill levels, and I think I've been successful. That's the result of having worked with Kadeco for the last 10 years. I'm actually the first employee. I started my journey with Kadeco back when it was known as RayWinderlich.com, building out the website and as an article editor. Then I grew the Unity team over there and spent the following years creating video tutorials on a whole variety of subjects. Now I manage both the Flutter and Android teams. These teams are composed of passionate developers like you. They've learned the topic, mastered it, and now they teach other developers. I learned all my techniques and skills from the developers on the Kadeco teams and by learners like you. We learn, we practice, and we teach. We do so in a friendly, supportive manner. We aren't judges, we're coaches looking to take your skills to the next level. That's the ethos of Kadeco and what I do. So if you like this course and you are looking to explore a related field in technology, head over to Kadeco.com. It's the same teaching style, and who knows, in a couple of years, I'll be working with you on your own Unity course. Okay, here we are with Unity open when we last left off. Mind you, my project may look different. My hard drive was wiped, and naturally, I didn't have backups. So I'm starting fresh. We're going to add a new script. Create a new C-sharp script. Let's call it Game Review. Select our favorite text game object. Remove any previous scripts if they are there. Add the game review script. Now let's set up the script. At this point, you should be able to do this from memory. Pause the video and try it out. When you're done, this is what you do. Open your game review script, add the following.
return back to Unity. Now select the button game object, add the text game object to it. Then from the dropdown, select the game review script and use the show message method. And we are all set up. So why do we do this every single video? I've mentioned it before and I'll mention it now. It's for muscle memory. You are adding and removing components as well as configuring them. You'll be doing this all the time in Unity, so it's good to get practice. Okay, open up the game review script. We are going to set it up. Get ready for some spicy hot takes. First, an enumeration. Now add it to the game review class. Now let's add our simple rating system in show message. Here we are switching on the game to be reviewed. Enumerations make for great switching. Head on back to Unity. Run the game. Select Starfield. Click the button. Yeah, I guess it was okay. Now Alien Isolation. Amazing. How about Gollum? That's outrageous. Open your code, add the following. Head on back to Unity. Run the game. Select Gollum. Click the button. It now reads amazing. Okay, I can feel the Starfield fans beginning to rage. We need to fix that. To do so, play Baldur's Gate 3. Okay, I kid. Or do I? Actually, let's fix Baldur's Gate 3 in Starfield. Open up your code. The go to command jumps to other cases, which can be a little confusing. Generally, I prefer to stack cases instead of using go to, but it is there when you need it. Head on back to Unity. Run the game. Amazing. The go to command jumps to other cases, which can be a little confusing. Generally, I prefer to stack cases instead of using go to, but it is there when you need it. Okay, now to put your skills to the test. I want you to create another switch statement for the games. Create an enumeration called rating. It should have the values amazing, great, mediocre, trash, and not rated.
print out a game name using debug.log that represents each switch case. Mind you, feel free to use the game names listed or provide your own. Pause the video now and try it out. How'd that go for you? Hopefully not too bad. First, let's start by creating a new enumeration called ratings. Add the following in the game review script. Next, create a public variable to hold the rating. Now, in the show message, add the following. Save and switch back to Unity. Play the game. Select the amazing rating. And naturally, we get Baldur's Gate 3. It truly is an amazing game. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. Next, select Great. We get No Man's Sky. This is a great podcast game, meaning you can just put on a podcast and play this game to pass the time. Now select Mediocre. Ah, Starfield. Granted, I've only played 10 hours, but it feels like work to play anymore. Select Trash. we get Big Rigs. I don't know if it's really trash. The game is actually quite legendary. Finally, select Not Rated. Ah, good old Half-Life 3. If it's ever made, people won't even know what Half-Life is anymore. 